All right, guys. Well, we're doing something a bit different today. It's been raining like crazy here in East Tennessee. We ain't really able to get out and fish. It's been muddy as can be. The rivers are completely blown out. So we decided to come up here to our little off-grid cabin. And my friends over at EnjoyBot were nice enough to send me a couple batteries to get hooked up to my solar system. So this little system is just, it's really an affordable system that I put up here several years ago. It's a 200 watt uh, Harbor Freight system. We had a bunch of old car batteries and stuff hooked up here. And over the years we've been able to come up, we've been able to watch this little TV up on the wall, charge our phones, play our DVD player. But you know, after seven or eight years, a lot of those batteries have just, they've went bad. They were built, we built a little box on the outside of the cabin and we just tore it off and it was it was really demolished there was a rat's nest in there and you can see here behind me where that box was we just tore it off but we've got our solar panels across the dam there we've ran them underground in the conduit over to the little cabin and like i said we've got some new batteries guys and i'm really excited to get these things hooked up we got a new 32 inch tv uh, we've got some things that we're hooking up and uh, we're gonna have a little bit of power up here and really good consistent power and i'm excited about that guys so here we have it i've got two of these that were sent to me to run my solar system we're going to run them in 12 12 volt make it 200 amp hours and like i said uh hopefully that's enough to power our little led tv we got a little smart tv we're really only charging our phones running some led lights and stuff like that so it isn't like we're cooking with these or running a small refrigerator toaster ovens or anything like that uh, we've got a gas cooker so that that helps us out a lot up here so really all we're doing is charging cell phones running a small tv and things like that so here we've got the enjoy bot 12 volt 100 amp hour battery and what i really really like the most about it is the fact that it's self-heating so this little cabin is a place that you know we're, we come up on the weekends sometimes we go months at a time without coming up here so while these batteries are charging by this solar system this little cabin gets really, really, really cold up here, especially during the winter. You know, it drops down below freezing. These batteries are self-heating. So, you know, it's not going to damage these batteries while they're being charged by the solar system. That's something that I really, really, really like. And then while I'm up here, I can also see what kind of, you know, what I'm getting uh, power-wise using the Bluetooth connected to my phone. So uh, these batteries are relatively small. I've got a little tote that I bought that I'm going to put them in. We're going to run the wires through that tote into the batteries that way we could put the lid back on it we ain't got to worry about the kids messing with the batteries you know everything's going to be put up nice and neat these batteries have a 10 year lifespan and like i said if that temperature drops down below 32 fahrenheit these things are going to self heat and it just it basically just ensures that they're still charging uh they're lightweight they're 22 pounds which is going to be perfect they're small compact and they're going to fit in this cabin perfectly we're just i'm putting them in the corner right where all the power and stuff comes in from the solar panels and now these batteries guys you don't just have to use these for like solar panel systems little off-gear cabins you know obviously my channel is built around kayak fishing you know you can use these in kayaks as well and you know there is another company that i work with so this is going to be a really good comparison to the batteries that I typically use with my fishing gear. Uh, I, I'm excited to see how well these batteries perform because, I mean, they're obviously going to be used quite a bit up here, powering the TVs and stuff like that. So.
that's one side. So we're going to take a wire out of our disconnect. It's our fuse disconnect. We're going to strip it back. We're going to go from negative to negative. We want to wire these in parallel because that will double our amp hour. So we'll have 200 amp hours instead of one with these gang together like this. The other way to wire it would be in series, which would be you would go positive, negative, negative, positive, and then hook them. That would double your voltage, but you would get still um, only 100 amp hours. This is a 12 volt inverter, so we have to wire it in parallel to end up with 12 volts at the end. So that's the way we're going to do that. And I have chosen to just strip the wire back and put it in a lug so I don't have any splices anywhere. It's just all terminals on both ends. So that's kind of a better way to do it without creating unnecessary junctions. Stripping back some copper here. We'll slide it through just like I did this one on this side. So we've got our power coming in here. It goes up to our fuse disconnect right here. And then it comes out of our fuse disconnect to our inverter. Now there are most certainly better ways to do this. And this isn't necessarily a, an instructional video. This is just a, a low budget way that, that we did this. So keep that in mind. This is uh, just a cheap get it done. <laughs> All right, so we need to establish which one is positive and which one is negative coming from our solar panels. So when I put this red lead on the negative, it's gonna show up with a negative symbol on there. So let's try this. Okay, that's the negative. Now watch the, when I switch it around, put my red lead like this, the negative symbol will go away. So that tells me that this wire right here is my positive, right there. So I'm gonna hook that up to this wire right here. And yes, this is not an outdoor rated box. Like I said, this is not an instructional manual on how to do it. This is just a cheap and easy way that we did it. This actually, this whole setup has been up here like this for at least six years like this. And we've had no issues, even though this is not a weatherproof box. And these, none of this is rated for outdoors. So. She works. Be that as it will, it works and it's been working. And uh, we're not going to put a whole bunch of money in it because this is a uh, budget setup. Now let's go inside and check our charge controller. Okay, so we got our solar uh, charge controller. It's really important that you get one that can, can do these lithium batteries. And so we have power coming in from the uh, solar panels into the charge controller. And then you have power coming out of your charge controller which powers and charges your batteries. So these these lithium batteries from EnjoyBot, they've got really good longevity. Uh, we have them ganged together in um, parallel so that we double our watt hours. To, so now we have 200 amp hours. We're maintaining our 12 volts. And we did these splice through connections so we don't have any unnecessary junctions. And it comes out of here. It's a six gauge wire. It comes into our fuse disconnect. Out of our fuse disconnect to our to our inverter and then this is just right here this is um, just for a light that you can wire up into that but overall these batteries are super light and they um, they have a lot of power a lot we can run pretty much anything we want obviously we're going to need to upgrade this now because 
these batteries can deliver us way more power than the old lead acid batteries. So now that Ike has got all this hooked back up, you know, that was the problem we come up here the last couple months. We, the old lead acid batteries completely gave up on us, but we've put a new charge controller in, wired up these new batteries. Everything's on the inside. We had this wired up on the outside. So all the batteries were outside in a box that we had built. We've got this where it's wired up inside. We've got us a little tote we can cover up. And now we've got our TV working, DVD players working. And the thing is, we bought a new 32 inch TV. We're gonna hook up very soon. Another awesome thing about the lithium batteries is, um, if these were lead acid batteries, we'd have to have a vent tube coming from here to the outside. Since these are sealed lithium batteries, you don't have to worry about that. These are completely sealed. They don't off gas. They don't do anything like that. So they can live in here completely covered up. They don't have to vent. And they, they, they give us a whole lot more power and a, a whole lot more um, ability to run a whole lot larger appliances. Obviously, we're going to have to upgrade that in the future. But this is just a cheap um, setup that we have. It's a, the solar uh, panels. It was a Harbor Freight kit from, from years ago. It's at least six years old now. And this is just a cheap setup that we have put in here. This is all used wire used to disconnect that I got off of a job site and uh, this is just a cheap easy way to do this stuff this is there's obviously better ways to do this um, and more expensive ways to do this but this that's not what this is about this is about doing it cheap and DIY and DIY so that's what we did here and everything is fused inside of here so we should be good and should be should be safe so that should be about it. And shout out to Enjoy Bot on these batteries. These things are, are absolutely awesome. there we go that's a little after the you know everything's hooked up now so we've got the battery box in the corner we've got everything kind of put back into place we've got our new 32 inch tv hooked up we've got our dvd player running we've got our 12 volt lights hooked up got one there got a lamp but yeah i think we're going to go ahead and stay the night up here big thank you to enjoybot for sending me those batteries I uh, really, really appreciate it. They're definitely going to come in use up here. They worked out perfectly. Be sure to head over to EnjoyBot's website. I'm actually going to connect to their Bluetooth here in a minute, kind of see how much life we got le uh, left, because I did not charge these from the time I've got them. Uh, we, we didn't get this finished until almost dark, and so tomorrow, obviously, these batteries are going to get some more charge, but tonight, like I said, we're running off how they come in the box. So, But right now, we've got LED lights. We've got a spotlight on the outside of the building we've got lights on the inside we're running a dvd player we're running a tv and uh yeah i think we want to spend the night tonight it's going to be really cold tonight but it's really cozy up here right now we've got a little buddy heater that runs off propane and we've got it up to almost 70 degrees in this building and it's like in the 40s outside so really cool really comfortable and uh yeah we love it so appreciate you guys for watching if you haven't please like please subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. So I can check these batteries one at a time. So right now we've got, we're at about 50% on these batteries. Uh, I did not charge these when I opened them up out of the box. Really cool. It's just a way that I can sit up here at nighttime, kind of gauge where I'm at on these batteries. And I'm anxious to see tomorrow, once these batteries start charging, 
uh, once the sun comes up over the ridge here and see what these batteries are doing. So 